Welcome back to the channel guys. We are out here Stockton, California for the OTB Open presented by MVP. Let's go. Alright, we are on the west coast, Ezra. You drove, I quick, flew, just a quick you're a psycho, I'm smart. Uh, Listen, we'll both heal at the same time. Doesn't matter. That is true. Doesn't matter. That is true. But it's been half my life driving. To be fair though, I got two extra hours today. To how do how many times did you have to get out of your plane seat? Twice. It was very. I, oh. I, it was only twice. If I, he comes and tells me, he tells me. If I'm the in the aisle, next people, if I, tell, if people if have to be open out here. Swinson Park, I Swinson. believe. Disco. Swinson Park. Oh, cool. A few changes, so we'll let you guys know. The first one being obviously hole one. It now plays as a par three, 496 feet. It looks like they have moved the stage or tee, whatever you want to call this massive structure, back nice. a little bit. It's gonna play for a, I think a backhand hyzer off the tee. The thing that I'm most excited about this course is I've already noticed some changes just around. This course, outside I would say of the majors, seems like the one, or that course, sorry, this yeah. tournament outside of the majors seems like the one that is kind of pushing the elite events. Yep. This is, they're showing what it should be. The porta potties I already noticed over there, they have like the green uh, banners around that are like protecting the porta potties from being like ugly eyesores on camera. Yeah. And then obviously you got an epic stage here. I can't wait to see what else they've got done with the course. You've played it once. I played it once. So quick, I'll kind of let quick you round. follow me through. But hole one is just a big nuke off the tee. Uh, I wish we could go high though, Cody, but we can't because of the trees. Well, it's like unless it's you like, go high and flat. No, no, yeah, it's like unless a you go flat. High and that gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. You smashed it in the golf cart. Circle two. At this point, you're probably like, whoa, dude, you have two cameras. What the heck is going on? Yes, we're trying something new. We've got Ace Run Pro behind the cameras today. We're going to see how it goes. Let us know if you guys enjoy the double cameras and the filming with yeah. a way nicer camera. Yeah, we don't hate Kevin. He's just not here yet, so. Uh, a little headwind out there, Ed. Should have thrown a high like I said, like you said. A little headwind out there, Ed. I'm pit high. Just like. 60 to the right. Oh, flip. It's like a hyzer re oh, it's a oh. hyzer release, but it needs it hyzer release, but it needs to get the flat. Uh, are dishes flippy or in Cali? We are like negative massive. we are like negative six elevation right now. Am I so I don't know if that well below sea level, I think. Uh, I might just be massive. Tight flex? Well, I think this are flippier here. Oh, they filmed it. Potential new disc in the bag is just a brand new, brand new new. Have you filmed this yet? No. Oh, it's stage. Oh, wow. Also, to be fair, Brody, I haven't given you a bad 2 all series nuke yet either. You so. haven't given me anything. No. So I'm just in limbo. You haven't given me a zone OS either, so we'll. we'll you never asked. First putt of the day or no? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It looked like your first putt of the day. Full putt of the day? That's... Maybe just not practicing, not warming up now, is the. I'm thinking now that I'm up here and throwing the shot, I'm thinking more overstable off the tee obviously wind dependent wind, wind dependent, dependent definitely wind but dependent. more overstable off the tee flex one thing i will say to notice it does look like as of right now the grass length is going to come into play because the fairway and the rough are different so if you get on the fairway you're going to get a skip you get over here in the rough you're not going to get as big of a skip this is much thicker and higher rough so we'll see how that comes into play hole two another big change this is kind of like a combination hole one and hole two is kind of a combination of hole one last year yeah so this is obviously a terrible tee like shot the second half of hole this would be a terrible tee shot if you land here from last year yeah but essentially we're going to be throwing to where we were landing last year so yeah. the second shot's almost the same yeah. 744 par four you've got ob down the left and it looks like you've got two mandos one this uh right up here with the almost mario 
kind of gives me Mario vibes. Oh, it does. The colorway and the uh, like the shape of the M. Gives me a little Mario vibes. And then there's another Mando up there that's just prohibiting like the big I hyzer. In, I think that might be in the trees. Like, in yeah, that, like it's, it just basically makes it so you can't go big hyzer around. You could just go forehand left of the Mando and then spiking. Yeah, the forehand does seem like for low ceiling shots for me, I like that more. Left side. Roller also not a terrible play here. Yeah, I feel like the only thing with the roller is it's, it's the left Could and right. Dicey. The left and right is a little bit dicey. And yeah. With that second man, though, it's, you don't want to go too far right. So I think we're going to throw probably a couple forehands. You like maybe straight passion or something up the yeah, middle? Yeah, that works too. I think the forehand is probably the, the, the play. ideal play. You can also go right side with like a stand up high zone. I don't know. The tight flex works too. I think the forehand is probably just the most right consistent. Right side seems scary. Left side's probably the most consistent, just like give yourself a shot. This is in the rough of a golf hole, so the grass is super long. So you kind of want to push the ceiling so you don't get like, you won't get any skips. If you throw it too low, it's just, just going to stick. I didn't bring my, uh, I didn't bring my flippy new for my forehand. That's not a treat. So I might try this Janice Thrasher forehand. Nice. Oh, that is a good it's risk reward, as, though. The it's thing good. is, I don't think it even gives you that much more distance. And then it also gets dice because if you do get a skip, there's that OB left. So I don't think it's worth it. Oh boy. Lifted. Oh, oh to get the height. Yeah, that's why I like the forehand. Janice Thrasher forehand. A lot of hyzer. Oh boy. Not enough hyzer. Dang, that would have been dirty good. though. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're gonna do. It is kind of back to back forehand. Is that gonna get up there far enough? Oh. A little bit too much hyzer, a little bit too much height. You could also throw this is this is where the, the roller's a good shot too. Well I think I like the forehand more. I, I think I like the forehand more, but I'm gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna. Uh-oh. There's danger left. Is that enough? Oh, it is. Oh, boy. Oh, gee. Smoked it. Forehand's fine. Oh! I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell it was the basket or the tree. Catch cam, catch cam. Oh, tree oh, behind. Right. Oh, right. That wasn't even that good, oh, that wasn't even that good Brody. Oh, it wasn't that good. All right, hole three, new change slightly. They have moved the basket. What would you say, as 30 feet left? Yeah, maybe maybe a tick maybe a tick more. A little bit, a little bit left 40, here. 42 feet left. No OB on this hole. So this is one where you're probably going to see either twos or threes, or I guess you could hit like an early tree and have a tough up and down for par. This hole last year had four or five different shots you could go and try to attack it. Yeah. It looks like this year, same thing. Got it. So we're going to try a couple different options and see which one we like the best. All right, we're going to try kind of like a little bit of a flex up the gut here. That one's pretty dependent on the skip, right? Like it is, yeah. I, I could have almost gone right of that tree trunk and gotten you know, that big of a skip. Oh, no, no. Because the first couple, the first couple I was going like flat and just having it turn and then come out. Well, like that. That's that new new. Come back out. Oh, all right. I think I think the knife definitely opens up the gap. Yeah, like ooh, more height. Yeah, it's one of those shots of because of the low ceiling. If you go something that's really overstable and fast, when it hits the ground, it's gonna have a huge flare, and we don't you don't really necessarily want that here. It is a very tough shot though. Yeah, see, I mean that's circle. Oh, well, that's parked. Yeah, that's really good. I'm, I gotta try the high shot. 
that much, dude. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even know if I'm going to try that. I don't like this. I, I'm just telling you right now, I do not like this. See? I don't like it, though, because now, now what does it do? Go into the basket. Oh! Okay, I almost made it. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get way. Where where are you trying to get this thing? I think I think you're going too stable. That's too big. Oh, that was so much <laughs> medium line. So hard. I like this I'll hole. Out. This hole is going to cause a lot of people to have to like, what shot should I do? And you second guess yourself. <laughs> I definitely am right now. <laughs> All right, you okay, if you're not watching Tour Life, our podcast, go subscribe, foundationpodcast.com on uh, YouTube. I hit the island green on Jonesboro all three times. Okay. On hole six, oh, all three me. times. Yes. Shot plus one on the hole. Two of my, di two well, of my shots. Two of my shots. Two of my shots bounced and Annie oh, skipped geez. left, Obi. <laughs> oh, 04, par five, same as last year. 1,171 feet. The only difference is they did add a Mando this year on the right. So they're they're now kind of forcing players down the left. You'll see a lot of people probably go roller off the tee, maybe some uh, tight, flex. tight flex backhands, and we'll see. I'm going I'm going only roller. Let's see it. I got four. I got two Janus Thrashers, which we might be doing another run of because people love those. I got my classic Glow Nuke SS, and then I've got I haven't I haven't found a That's... Scorch from this year. But the scorches last year were really good roller boots. Really good. Oh, that's great. Missed that. Oh! You know, that, I mean, that's what can happen if you throw a roller. Then she got it in her. Then she got the flip. Ah, yes! That's not a bad spot. I just threw that touch low. It's not a bad spot. All right, this one's, little, this one's gonna be a little flippier, so we're gonna go a little more high there. Uh oh. Oh boy, that's, that's not where you wanna be. Oh boy. Oh, but still on cut though. Well, no. Doing weird stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so far right. right you might have to go over that building. It curled. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think you wanna go super flippy. <laughs> Is that a roller or not? Yeah. Yeah. But I honestly like I honestly like yours that are like on super cut. I think that's way better than flipping too soon. Yeah. I already did that one. And then flipped over. But see, it's too it's too much it's too flippy. Alright, let's 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 try let's show the uh try try to show the tight flex line. Ew! Oh my gosh, it's always Ew. so bad. All right, hold on, he's still falling now. <laughs> Catch cam's still falling now. You got 700 roller that went 300 feet. So high. Did it get, it got through everything. You were the luckiest player ever. Wow. All right. I love that. That's, that's honestly my favorite thing about myself. Heaven roller, Scorch. Oh yeah, that'll be, that's it. Stay up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. And you oh, love hit that you tree. just love the trees. Dang. All right, that was a good angle though. Yeah, that was a much better angle. We threw eight discs. I think this was our best option. This that's hole. That's the gap. That's the gap to that tree. This hole's gonna be really difficult you into a head for you. Do you think this is the second most difficult pole five on two hole behind Northwoods Black Hole Twelve? Ooh, I don't think there's yeah. enough OB. So like, I, if that's you were fair. saying hard to birdie, yeah, maybe like be, maybe like that's like maybe like, hard to like birdie amount like amount of bodies. Yeah, because you know? I don't think you're going to get the high numbers on this hole like you would some other par fives yeah. that we play. You gotta so, throw three like, good shots. Saying, if you hit one of these only trees, it's basically a pole six. So. Yeah, you have to throw three good shots to get a birdie, which is you know it's a good par five. Speaking of which, I think I'm going roller again. We just knocked the sails out. I don't know what else you would do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a better line. And 
the wind just killing it. Damn. All right, I'm gonna try one more. I think the wind is supposed to be this direction all week long. Oh, that was so stable. Whoa. Whoa. Find the gap. Could be on the street. Find the gap. Oh. You know what it might be, as? That might find the gap. You know what it might be? It might be a hyzer roll. Because we're rolling it too soon. We want it to roll it later. It's a hyzer roll. Oh, I hate that so bad. I hate that I saw that. Oh, watch out! Oh. All right. I think it's past the woods. This holds it really, really hard into a headwind. See, that's just going to hit something. Maybe not. That was our best. That was our best. That was our best. That thing just finds gaps. Still kind of a pump. I, I'm, I think into a headwind, I'm not hating being in this spot. I think if it's not a headwind, this is probably not great. 435, got a little tree in my way. I think my only option really is a backhand. Oh, I can't. Oh. Okay. All right, we're warming up here. We're warming up. We're getting loose. We're getting loose. Oh, move that. Not bad. I feel like with no wind conditions, you could probably, probably get another 75 feet. Yeah. Circle two apart on this hole is not bad. Hole five. It looks like there's two obvious, well, one obvious, one not so obvious change. The obvious one is they threw up this huge, what we normally play as a triple Mando, but I don't think it plays as a Mando. It's not a Mando. Not a Mando. Okay. The aesthetics. I guess so. And they also have moved up the basket to the spot where we were trying to land or eventually throw our second shot last year. So it's a much more attackable par four to where you could potentially even get an eagle, but they did also add OB down the left and the right. You can still throw the big flex, Annie, but now the OB, if you don't turn it over, the OB left comes into play, you could be OB the entire way. If you try to go for the eagle and go roller, it can be easy to like leak it out right and go OB. So I think it'll play pretty good in comparison to like to par. I'm gonna go sky roller. Oh, not high enough. Oh boy. Yep, straight to the tree. Try to sky Annie. Oh. Man, even that's gonna fade out almost. Maybe go OB. Oh, it's OB. By a lot. Way over there. I don't like it. That's why I think you gotta go. If you go this way, you gotta go roller, right? I might as well just go up the middle. That's got the height. No. Oh, didn't. We've been conceding the par. Well, I think the life is a par four. I mean, ball, conceding the ball. Oh. Ah, I wanted to miss that so bad. Is that good? I did it. Hey. Yeah, like 100 short. That's OB right. I don't like going up the middle. I mean, there are gonna be some people that just freaking juice this low backhand. Have you tried that? I mean, I hate to say it, man, but that looks so difficult. Is that an L shot? Oh no. Well, that might be safe. Safe. That's fine. That's fine. I think even if I hit one of these false initial trees, I think I can still get to the basket since it's so short. Woo! Yeah. I 
I think I threw four rollers down the right and one on the right. All right, we're gonna go one more right. Oh, that that's bad. All right, tougher hole. I feel like just going going up the middle for me takes it will be out of play, and then. If I get through, it should be an easy up and down. If I don't, I can probably still get it. Yeah, it's all about just table. getting through. If you hit one of those early trees, it sucks. Ooh. Oh. That was spicy. All right, so this was my scorch, which was kind of like an air shot, but one that I'm, if I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss right, which I think is the play. Left, you're going to fade out OB. Right, you're going to be safe most of the time if you're going that big, wide uh, shot. Those aren't going to be good in the wind, Ezra. All right, hole six, par five, 1,006 feet. Same as last, last year. It takes two massive shots to get to the uh, basket. Very wind dependent. This course is very wind dependent on how you're going to be able to play holes. Right now, it's head left to right, which is maybe one of the worst winds you potentially could have on this hole. I think it's supposed to be this way all week, too. This direction? Like this might be like the prominent wind direction. OK. You're just going to try to get your first shot out as far as possible. Ideally, if you can get past that first row of trees, it'll make your second shot a lot harder, or a lot easier, rather. The roller sometimes can be the play. I don't think it's going to be the play today in the wind. I think you're probably just going to have to blast a nuke up the gut. Place. I'd be happy with that. It's such an awkward roll because you can't actually see the line. I mean, I just missed my line by 30 feet. Oh, I like that a lot, Ez. Yeah, you cut for me, baby. I, you don't even need to cut now. Oh, yeah. It's so oh, far. It's, it's uncut. That's so far. Nukes, roll on, baby. Under it, under it. All right. And then I'll, I'll try one roller as well. If you did that it's such so. such a risky war, but it's so, if you can get weight. You I did mean, that so immaculately. I got chewed up. Oh, I'll try one more roller. That would be nice. Oh, that would be good. Mid down. Yes. Stay. Stay on cut. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Let's go. I missed doing rollers off every tee. Stay on cut. Oh, John. Gone. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Now stand up. Now stand up. It is. Now go this way. Come on, Wayne. Show it. Show it to me. Right. I never saw it. Oh. All right, this is where our rollers ended up. As we're a little bit further up than me. And this is into a headwind, so this is actually pretty good. You probably still get there with two rollers. Actually, you probably go air shot for your second shot, but you'll see some people in good non-windy um, conditions if we end up getting it, yeah. getting the roller almost through this fairway up there and having like a pretty you doable eagle. Yeah. Yeah. The, it is obviously, as you saw, it is a very risky shot of the tee pad. A lot can go wrong. Oh, I just kind of found out there is actually OB on both sides of the fairway this season, which I, I think is new if I remember right, which I think kind of takes the roller out of play for us, probably just because it can get kind of squally, as you guys saw. So it's probably going to be a couple of air shots, and then this is where my air shot ended up. Have a little forehand into the basket. Should, get a, should be able to still get a body, but the lack of distance is going to be... Oh, 
boy. Hang on. It's a good hole. I think the OB is actually a good, a positive change because it makes, it makes, with going roll on roll, it makes the hole a little bit easier. Guys, I made it in the hole. I wonder if it landed there or if it got, uh, if they grabbed, grabbed it, you know? maybe they tried to bring it into this hole. Oh, baby. They're going to start, That's why uh, you should probably straddle as you ah, Absolutely. They're going to start, uh, making their holes bigger for next year. <laughs> This, this is fit. Oh my god. This is one of those courses that when the wind is up like it is today, it plays very, very tough. Straight headwind today. Hole seven. 364 feet. We've got a little bit of a headwind. I say a little, a little bit. bit. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of bit of a headwind. I think you, you'll see some people go attack this with a backhand, kind of out over the water and just kind of slowly hyzering back. It does look like they did cut down some of the, the height on the right. So there's actually more of a gap to go in there. I can't tell how big of a gap that is. Is there a decent gap or is that tree kind of in the way still? It's definitely still in the way. Okay. Like if you're going back in, you don't, you have to like try to come in short left of the basket instead of right at it. I okay. Think. From what I saw yesterday. And then you've got- Power forehand is also there. You doing both? Well, here's the thing about the forehand. I like to flex forehand more because last year, I tried to go straight forehand, too low right in that hill. You like it? <laughs> Got to go a little bit. <laughs> wow. Good shot, dude. And this is what All we day. call, folks, a pitch count. I am going to be one and done on this hole. I will let Ezra not throw multiple. Stand up. Oh, Ezzy, you did it. Oh, no, you didn't. I did it. I That's not bad. I'm happy with that. That's not bad. I don't want to miss right. That's a safe I'm happy. Kobe. You can't say Kobe and then miss it. That's the... I mean, you didn't want either one of those. You didn't... You did not want either I one of those. I understand how I come from, so it's quite... It's, it's too soon. There you go. You can, you can put the piece in Hole number eight, par four, 828. I would say another difficult birdie hole out here. Difficult, this might be difficult one of hole. Most, one of the most, yeah, with those OB too. Difficult hole, you got OB on the greens. You'll see OB by the basket when we get near there. A very challenging tee shot. I might go roller again. I'm definitely going roller. I like the roller. I'm going roller. to scorch someone. That's fine. Oh, no, it's not. Smoke too soon. This is back in the bag, maybe. Good oh, old, roller nuke. Good old cut. <laughs> oh, my God. That was good. We are going to try to locate all our discs that we have missed. All right, you guys didn't see that we just had a 30-minute uh, pause, a little 30-minute break in the action because we both lost our discs. You can see the basket potentially through the trees. There's two of them. The FPO one's the short one. Ours is on the other side. There's a OB green in between the two baskets. Ezra's a little bit further up. You probably want to get further up so you actually has a little bit more of a shot. I don't really think I even have a shot. at 75. Yeah, I don't have a shot. So, like, here I'm just probably laying up somewhere around the cart path and then just trying to get up and down for my fall.
<laughs> I, that's what I try to tell him, Calvin. Calvin. With you. He's he's he is, he is, he is called us dummies. Calvin, he, is, Calvin, he, is, he calls dummies. He is called us dummies. Oh, that might be real good, Azzy. Yeah. Did it? I couldn't tell. I mean, you've been playing with disc golf for like a year and a half, so I don't know if it's how we used to do in the old days. I don't know if old days oh. really exist. It's how we used to do it in the old days. We have made it to one of my favorite holes on tour. Why is that, Bernie? Well, I'll tell you, Ezra, is because of the design of this hole. I think it's one of the best designed holes because it allows you to get aggressive or play safe off the tee. You have to make a decision. If you play safe, the second shot is a lot more difficult, a lot scarier. If you play aggressive off the tee, OB comes into play. And all they have to do is just make the fairway, well, I guess if it's this I was way. Ask, what do you think about the, the, the It's angle. <laughs> it's an angle fairway, and I like it a lot more. A lot of times we play these fairways that are just straight up and down. So if you throw a bad shot, you're just shorter. Here, you throw a bad shot and you're short, you're OB, you're retee. Well, I guess you're not retee, I guess you go up there. New Nuke OS. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. I love that, oh. man. I love the, uh, see that's the beefy Annie. Is, yeah. I like that so much more than the tunnel. The beefy Annie is the football one. Yes. Oh, wait. Sir, you need a beefier nuke OS. Beefy nuke? Oh. Well, I faded out though. That's great. Oh, it's so far up though, dude. Oh, it's so good. Nice shot. Spin that catch cam, baby. Oh, that's a beefy boy. That's too much flat. Yeah, you were, I think the first throw. Do you have another one or no? It's fine, yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. There she goes! That's a, that's a rip. Great shot. Hey man, that's just the message out there to all those people who are scared of the dark is don't be afraid. If you're scared of the ocean, if you're scared of Yeah, who the heck taxes, invented, is? Who the heck invented night lights? Oh, you scaredy cat. Face your fears, people. <laughs> Close your eyes. What happens? No clowns. Things. Clowns. See a lot of clowns. clowns. You can just see too how you definitely want to get distance off the tee because of how difficult the second shot is with the water carry. Some of you are going to kind of throw a hyzer wide, bring it in. Those uh, trees come in the right, though, and can just suck up your disc. Ezra's got good. You definitely want to be more in the center if you can be. That's gonna wrap up the front nine out here for the OTB Open presented by MVP Open. That's the front nine. Back nine will be on Ezra's channel, so make sure to go over and check that out. And let us know in the comments what you think. Ace Run Pro out here filming for us. So we got the catch cam as well. Hopefully some re cool replays and different angles and stuff than you guys are used to. So let us know what you guys think of all that. Other than that, that's what we got. See you guys in the back nine. And I don't know why I'm blanking right now. We we I think I'm actually poisoned. We were I'm looking sorry, for man. one of Ezra's. Shot we were looking for Ezra's disc. And I think I might have gotten poisoned. And my my brain is just it not. Got that bloodstream. I have haste. I have haste. High altitude cerebral. Um, He's lost it, folks. Something else. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Keep slinging them discs.